where the Antonia Fortress was. Yes, it is 5 a.m. I'd like to ask you kindly, one, pay attention where you walk. It's not daylight and be careful. Second, let us all be quiet as we walk. And here we enter Herod's Gate into the Muslim Quarter. Fearless leader here, pretty early in the morning, but tough job, somebody's got to do it. Here we all come. Good morning. Good morning. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Sure smells good. How are you? <laughs> Muslim call to prayer early this morning as our group goes down the stairs to begin the Via Della Rosa. say to people I hope you like that sound because it's coming to a town near you fortress all these shops all the sisters of Zion and the Franciscan Church of flagellation all of this was part of that huge complex called the Antonia fortress with each steps he enters, he enters more deeply into our human experience. He walks in the path of human misery and suffering and experiences its crushing weight. We are doing you. We are you. We're at Station 5, Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus with his cross. Knowing that I will never feel alone in my suffering or in any, or in any diminishment with this image of Jesus on the ground before me, this is for me. So I express the feelings in my heart. So we've arrived at the Holy Sepulcher. We're gonna continue the Stations of the Cross and touch the top of Calvary, where we're also gonna have Mass. These steps take us up to the top of Calvary where Jesus was crucified. Here we are lining up to touch the top of Calvary. Our folks are now going two by two and touching. This is Calvary here where Jesus was crucified. His cross was right in the ground there on top of Calvary and we're touching that spot where the blood dripped.
our group is now down at the Stone of Anointing where Jesus was prepared for burial. This is where Jesus was prepared for burial and people are touching their rosaries and venerating this spot. This is the altar where they nailed Jesus to the cross and he was put on the cross right there. And we're gonna have mass now, right where he was crucified. <laughs> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. 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 May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit remain, come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Everybody saw the tomb standing here where Jesus was buried, but we'll be coming back in the afternoon to go inside the tomb and touch our rosaries and pray. After Mass on Calvary and a tour of the church, we come back to the Notre Dame through this Newgate out of the Christian Quarter and we're back to the Notre Dame Hotel for breakfast and a little downtime. Then we had a group picture taken. What a good looking group and we'll have those available for everybody uh, this afternoon. After our group picture we boarded the bus headed around the city to the Dung Gate and the Western Wall. It's called Dung Gate because that's where they took their trash out in the old days and this is the Dung Gate that we passed through. Excellent security here in Israel. Makes everyone feel quite safe. We go through here. This is security, kind of like in an airport. And once we do, we come out, and there is the Western Wall where I give my It'll talk. The Sabbath today and the restrictions. But here's a picture or video of our guys going down before we actually get in there. And we'll be praying here at the Western Wall. Here's our guys praying at the wall. coming out of the western wall to the dung gate again and i think we all had a great time there learned a lot and we're back down to our bus right down that's the parapet of the temple where the devil tempted jesus to jump off and the mount of Olives behind it and there's our bus waiting for us david the best driver in israel but the um, the rosary was the on our way back father Mary. alfonso is giving a history of the rosary devotion and Mary of prayer was developed more as a Christ, Christocentric uh, prayer. Back to the Notre Dame for a rest up and regrouping and then off to lunch. It's lunch time. Robert's ready to eat. We're gonna oh, yeah. go across here and into the new gate and we're gonna walk for a while to Rossini's restaurant. Right up there is the Latin Patriarchate. That is the Archbishop of Jerusalem, of all of Israel, Palestine, Jordan, and the island of Cyprus. And we are bringing our group here to one of our favorite restaurants in Israel at Rossini's. They've got a great uh, menu, and these are Christians, and we're supporting them, and here we all are. All the way starting dinner, and the troublemakers are all up on the second floor, the 12 apostles. Hey guys, we're in Jerusalem having a great time. This is Ryan and Charlotte. Hi kids, hi everybody. We're so glad y'all are doing well while we're gone and we're having a great time um, and just seeing some great holy things to bring back to y'all. 
Steve and Janet are just treating us like kings over here. It's great. Yep. All right. Take care. Love you. Bye. We'll take you upstairs to show you the 12 troublemakers up here. Here's the 12 apostles up here. All the troublemakers come up here. <laughs> Enjoy the food. On the main floor. <laughs> and we're up on, oh, look at down there. All the folks eating down there. Central station behind the scenes where all the food is made. There's Kaleo, the owner. All the dinners are coming out. Hi. We're now at the Jaffa Gate. Point out that if they want and we're taking everybody out to the Holy Supper. Walking through the streets of Jerusalem, the old city is very exotic. It's kind of like a huge flea market. Jews, Muslims, Christians, Polish, Russian, everybody from the world is here. Our good folks are here in line. It's not a long line today, maybe an hour. They're gonna go around. This is where the tomb is inside. They're gonna come around the other side and four by four, they're gonna go in here to touch the tomb of Christ and see where he was buried. That's the tomb of Christ right there. After they touched the tomb of Christ, everybody had the rest of the afternoon free to wander through these exotic streets of Jerusalem. Some people went up the tower to look down on the city. Some may have walked the ramparts along the top of the walls or gone shopping or back to the hotel for rest. But everybody had the rest of the day free to wander through the streets of Jerusalem and have a good afternoon. You want to see where we're having dinner tonight? We're having dinner tonight right up there, the rooftop of Jerusalem, fourth floor, looking out over the city of Jerusalem. Well, we're having a nice meal here at the Notre Dame Center up on the roof. Look out here, you can see Jerusalem, the Holy Sepulchre, I can see it right there, the Mount of Olives. They got plastic here, it's a little cold outside, but this is a beautiful view, Notre Dame. And we're all having our salads and wine, and then they're going to be bringing the main courses out. So, thank you everyone for having a great time tonight. Good night, Jerusalem. <laughs>